Strokes. Expected standards. Front crawl. The body position. The body must be kept horizontal, stretched and streamlined, with the face in the water and the eyes looking downward and slightly forward. The head leads the central core stability, only turning when a breath is taken. The shoulders and upper body rotate to maximize the reach, pathway and acceleration of the arm action. The legs and feet. Using a continuous movement which predominantly originates at the hip, the swimmer should show a steady, rhythmical alternating leg kick, keeping the movement within the body width. The toes are pointed, with the ankles relaxed for in-towing, and the knees will bend to take full advantage of the accelerating downbeat to finish the movement with a whip-like action. The feet make a small splash as they break the surface and remain relatively shallow. The speed, power, depth and knee flexion can vary and will largely depend on the strength and maturity of the swimmer and the distance and pace of the swim. The arms and hands. The arm action should be rhythmical, balanced and controlled. The fingertips lead the hand entry, sliding into the water at a point in front of the head, between the shoulder and centre line. The hand continues to lead the arm and shoulder into the swimmer's full reach before starting the propulsive phase. The hand presses outwards and downwards to the catch position, at which point the shoulder will rotate inwards and the elbow flexes to take the full pressure. The hand accelerates through an S-shaped pathway to the hip where the hand releases the water and the arm can then be lifted elbow first for the recovery. The arm is taken back over the water keeping the hand relatively close to the surface and remaining close to the body's core, with the hand passing close to the head in a controlled pathway. When one arm enters the water, the other arm should be at the midway point of its propulsive phase to ensure maximum continuous propulsion. The arm action should enable the individual to gain maximum distance per stroke effectively. Breathing. The swimmer must be capable of and be at ease breathing to both sides in a relaxed and sustainable rhythm while retaining the core body alignment and streamlining. While turning the head, the swimmer exhales fully as the hand accelerates past the hip and exits the water. Inhalation should be taken quickly during the early part of the arm's recovery phase so the face can be rolled back into the water before the hand re-enters. Timing. The kicking, arm action and breathing must be coordinated and controlled. Each of the component parts of the stroke need to balance and complement each other, retaining core stability. All actions must be smooth and continuous and show a relationship between stroke length and stroke rate, power and speed.